and rock with Mickey and Kai. It is going to be rocking at the Reynolds. You can say that again. Great work by Matt Curry and Josh Monk and our entire crew as we move to 141 now. And it'll be McNeil from North Carolina taking on Ryan Jack from NC State at 141. Younger there. brother of my former teammate, Kevin yeah. Jack. Well, he was big time for a long time. Four NCAA qualifiers mock at 141. So a strong weight class in the ACC. It feels like it always is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even when Kevin Jack left, you had Tariq Wilson. Tariq Wilson. I think Andonian was, was Andonian on a 41 pounder or a 49 pounder? He's 49 pounder. Yeah, I think he even spent a little time at 141, though. You may be right. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, go back. I think I, I think I got that wrong, actually. But McNeil beat Jared Papsey from Duke 6-3 to three to take on the number two seed, Ryan Jack, out of NC State. Wow, how about Kai one more time, though? What a great match. What a match. And a celebration that was out of this world. <laughs> Ryan Jack with a 19-2 record. Nice job put two together by Ryan Jack. Great, even better defense by McNeil, who counters and secures the first takedown of the match here with a four, minute and 40 seconds left in the first period. See, that's incredible. They just met on February 17th, and Jack smoked McNeil 19 to, wait, 7-5, sorry. It pushed Jack's record to 19 and 2, I apologize. Beat McNeil 7-5, it was not a smoke at all. Jack's record is a smoke, though, 19 and 2. Uh, Pretty impressive. Very impressive. This should be a good matchup, both guys. And like I said, man, when the match means more, the intensity rises, and you can, you can feel it. You can feel it in the arena. You can feel it watching these guys wrestle. Ryan Jack has the second best person on at 141. In the country, after a 19-2 regular season for the pack of pressure, he Ryan's got to get off of his hip here and start looking to build his base. There we go. He's working to build his base now. He's got to isolate. He's got to try and seal off if he can. Get McNeil from clearing his uh, tight race. There he goes, got out. Good job working to his feet. Turning and facing to get his one. 43 seconds left here in the first period. The score is two to one. McNeil with 58 seconds of riding time. Let's see if we see some action here in the last 30 seconds of the first period. Two to one the score. McNeil on top of Jack. It's going to take a while for everybody to come down off that Kai victory over Latona. <laughs> because NC State, Virginia Tech, and then those two, right? The rivalry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> McNeil, 19 and 6 on the season. As I mentioned, it was tight. 7 to 5. They just met on February 17. End of the first period, scores two to one. McNeil goes down. This is going to give Ryan an opportunity to shave down some of that riding time, which I think he will be able to. Ryan's pretty effective and honestly wrestles on top, very similar to his older brother. Does a great job riding with the tight waist. Let's see what he decides to do. McNeil's actually wrestling with a good sense of urgency on bottom, which is what you need more than you get your one. Ryan doing a good job dropping off to a double, working, getting him down to his hip. This is good. He'll be able to kill a lot of time here if he can keep him flat. McNeil, redshirt freshman from Toronto. Jack, a sophomore from Danbury, Connecticut. Wow, escape, but Ryan was able to shave down 28 seconds of riding time, so now it's only 30. Look at the scores now. Yeah. Yep, two point lead, three to one. Now, again, we're, we're back to these moments that it looks like not a whole lot is going on, but really, there's a lot of almost like chess here. Guys are playing the game. They're controlling a tie. They're feeling out, trying to anticipate what their opponent's going to do, right? So if, for example, I have an inside tie on my opponent, I have a limited number of options of what I can do with that specific tie. If I have a two-on-one, 
two box. Cole Matthews, the number one seed, with a 4-2 lead over on Mac two with Sean and Rock. Dean and Mock. Hey, we got Rock and Mock. <laughs> But like I was saying, in these moments here where, where you see Ryan Jack, you see them creating pressure. You see McNeil slowly using that back leg to drive and almost creep forward. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to get Ryan Jack to pressure back into him. So that way he can look to create offense. But like in these little moments that I was describing before, it's like a chess match. There's a lot of nuance. So the first example I gave is when you have an inside tie, you have option A, B, and C that you can you can work to look for off of this inside tie. If I have a two on one, like Mickey Phillippe, I have options A, B, C that I can get to from this specific tie. And so each tie has their different options. And as a wrestler, when you are giving up that tie, for example, if I'm McNeil and I know Ryan Jack has an inside tie on me, I have to be savvy enough to know these are his options. What is he going to try to make an attempt for? And so now you're trying to anticipate. You're trying to stay two to three steps ahead of your opponent. And that's what's happening in those moments where it looks like nothing's going on is they're trying to figure out what they're going to do next, what is their opponent currently doing, and what can I do to create offense by being two, three steps ahead. I love it. And Jack's got to put all that into play right now as you take a look at the North Carolina corner. McNeil leading Jack, the two seed, three to one. We're in the third period here now, Mike. And he's good in riding time. He's got to get out with 13 seconds left. Oh, no, this could be tough. He's got eight seconds to get out before. And he gets out. That's huge. That's huge. Because now riding time is not a factor. And a takedown doesn't put tip him to overtime. A takedown gives him the lead. So he's got a minute and 30 seconds left. And Mark, he looked at the clock right after he got that you escape. Have yeah. You have to. You've got to know the situation. And that's great Matt wrestling. That's great Matt. I, that's good wrestling IQ there. Gauging how much time I have left. What do I need to do? What type of urgency do I need to have? So now Jack has to have a little bit of urgency. He got about 65 seconds left. He needs some offense. He's down one. He's got to do something here, Mike. Let's we'll see what he decides to do. He's working, looking to clear that car tie. McNeil is getting to an underhook. And the underhook is what he was trying to do just now. And the underhook's a great single tie look. to get to. Great job rolling the head to the outside. That's two. There it is. And listen to the crowd. They just saw Kai on Matt one, and now they're seeing Jack on Matt one. Jack trying to hang on here. 30 seconds left. So let's look at the situation. All right, boom. Beautiful shot attempt here. Now what you watch, what you see here is you see Kevin, you see Ryan roll his head to the outside in that very like small window of opportunity that he had as they were rolling across the mat and that's what gave him the ability to get to the finish. McNeil now with that urgency that Mock was talking about. Jack trying to hang on. He's, He's got a one point lead. This is about heart right here. This part of the match, there's not a whole lot of technique to this. <laughs> there's some, but you just got to get tough. You got to want it. You got to get gritty. And you just have to find a way. There's five seconds left. Ryan's just trying to hold on. And he holds on for the lead. Another great win for NC State at Reynolds Coliseum on the campus of NC State here in Raleigh. A whole lot of Wolfpack Red. And Jack has punched his ticket. I expect McNeil to be one of the four as well. I think that's fair to say. Absolutely. Especially with a match like that, he very well could have won that match as well. Look at that brother duo right there. Kevin Jack, Ryan Jack. I'm sure he's proud of his younger brother. Go now we have, coming up, Jackson Arrington. One of the two true freshmen that we were talking about that are in the top of the bracket at 149. Well, we went from having zero NC State wrestlers over on Matt one to just having all kinds <laughs> of Wolfpack wrestlers, right, as we're in the semifinals here. And you mentioned Jackson Arrington. He got the bye. Which is awesome, because I remember when I was a freshman. Okay, so they're looking for locked hands here to see if there was a locked hands call here at the end of the period. And if there was, and the refs do decide that there was a locked hands call, they're going to award 
UNC a point, which is going to send the match to overtime. But we'll see what they end up calling. Just from that small clip that I saw there, I don't know if I saw a locked hands call, but the refs could see something different. So we're just waiting for the official review here on Matt one. The final score as of right now, four to three, Ryan Jack with 14 seconds of riding time from McNeil. What we think is gonna be a win for Ryan Jack, but that is currently pending. Oh. And a win for Ryan Jack. Yeah, no lock Ryan Jack will take it. McNeil. <laughs> Not the same celebration as Kai, but Jack is all business right there. All right. Well, you.